Hello wonderful people, Caller Whipmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be doing a live review of the new compilation from Halcyon, Halcyon Sound Volume 1. Here it is, one of the most highly anticipated compilations of the year so far, the debut compilation from the label or imprint or whatever you want to call it, created by Ulusile Halcyon, which in their words heavily focuses on but is not limited to the emerging sound of future rhythm. This seems to essentially be a way of making more appealing something that has been a real bone of contention for dubstep in the last few years or so and which is showing no signs of going away. That being Rhythm, i.e. Rhythm Dubstep, which is great, you know, not to say people weren't doing it already, but for many for the most part, it's been a long time of stagnation for this style of music, Rhythm and Dubstep at large, myself included. And now we have another collective dedicated to unleashing that in a new way, so in principle, brilliant. The hype has been off the chart, I've seen many people already saying they love the whole thing, one thing I must say I'm a little disappointed by, just before we get into it, looking at the tracklist and whatnot, is how few producers are actually on it, given the amount of hype there has been for it leading up to it and whatnot. Could have been a far bigger outlay, you know, more epic and statement making on that front, just a far bigger range of producers on show, I think, you know, really showing what they're going for to kick things off here. But the ones we do have here are all at the forefront of that futuristic, boundary-pushing sound, and it's just the beginning, of course. So yeah, I'm excited to get into it, this first sampling of what Halcyon has to offer. I'm hearing all eight tunes here for the first time, even the Sudden Death and Vultra, which came out a couple of days ago, and I'm gonna talk about them as they go on and summarize along the way, and I will spend a bit of time at the end talking about the compilation as a whole. So yeah, let's get into it. And first up, we have Utah by Sudden Death, which apparently has him singing on it, which could be interesting. So yeah, here we go. Right, definitely uh, futuristic, I'll give it that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a bit of a kind of visceral getter feeling to it, you know? That is sick. Sinewy, twisted sounds just kind of firing off at you. It's an interesting idea. I mean, again, sounding uh, basically, for me, like a lot of what he's put out before, ideas-wise, except it does just have that bright and futuristic uh, gleam to it, you know, just very full of life and just brimming with the colour and flavour, brightness, as I said, but yeah. Singing as well is nice. I'm liking it. Got a good tone to it, emotional. It's nice. Gonna have to say it, the snare is interesting, bit thin on the ground, a bit tinny, if you get me. That one's got a bit more beef to it, but still got that kind of grainy uh, quality and appeal to it. A nice first track here. The brightness, which I've been talking about, just allows the emotion of the vocal and the instrumental as well, actually, you know, in the builds and the dubstep at points, but it just allows it to be really felt, you know, having that um, glistening feel to the music just allows everything else to be seen in that really full of life way. Do you know what I mean? Like introduction and midsection, interlude moments, much more rounded and full and the combination of elements, you know, instrumental, vocal, background touches really, really worked and musically as well, everything kind of cohered in that respect. But the heaviness, whilst I do enjoy it, I enjoy the brightness of it and the colour, the flavour, all of that. Just as an idea, not not getting loads from it so far, but you know, that's just after one listen. And also on the production front, I do feel like it could have been beefed up just a bit more, given a bit more body and just a bit more a bit more of a monstrous feel, so I can really kind of move along with it. But you know, decent opening here and one that I think I'm excited to hear again. So yeah. Sudden Death, Utah. 
not bad. Next up, we have Instance by Voltra. Here we go. The introductions are just... I feel like I'm a bit of electricity going through a wire right now. Oh my... Oh, that's so good. Come on, come on. Oh, ah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Oh, shit. Fuck, I'm shaking. What the fuck? It's just getting to me. Double drop. A little bit slower, this one, not quite as impactful, a bit more drawn out. I think it works in contrast with the first one. Not an idea I can get into per se, but I mean, sounds are still amazing. It's just, yeah, a bit more drawn and dragged out, if you get me. Just not quite as impactful, not quite as mind-blowing and statement-making, if you get me. But most stuff here so far, I'm just... It's incredible, what the fuck, man? It's just filling me with life. Urgh. Oh, holy shit balls, holy shit balls. Ah! That was like being transported into a future dimension, another planet, another timeline. I just fucking, we're here, and man just fucking shot off into another timeline, another fucking wormhole dimension thing. That was mad. The range of sounds on show, the way they're put together, the ideas as well, like, there's a lot to get into there, and I'm not just talking about the heaviness, like in the drums, like the builds in particular, the, the intro as well, the midsection. There are moments in every section here that you can really hang on to and remember. You have a lot of music, you know, 90% of it, I would say, that just settles for bog standard ideas, bog standard production, doesn't push itself, isn't ambitious, you know, doesn't try things out, and a lot of those things have been leveled against Rhythm, but this song and songs like this one are just the exact opposite. That is the highest compliment I can pay it, you know. It's just constant pushing and pushing the sound further and further by Voltra. Some ideas, as I said, I'm not as big on as others here. The middle drop in particular, or double drop, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, as a way of, you know, providing contrast, I think it works as well. Big number, statement making, loads going on, fresh production. For the most part, really, really on point. After that, the man himself, Ulicile, with Dreams Data. A lot of rave influence stuff here, for sure. Big impression left so far. Mmm, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh wee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those sounds are fucking me up. I'm liking them a lot. Some of those sounds were wavy. Just had me fucking moving this way and that. The design on them is fucking beautiful. Oh, no double drop. Going right into a midsection. Okay. <laughs> oh! Ooh! Oh! Love that bounciness, man! Love that bounce! Oh! I think that's a really interesting song in that 
I think the sounds themselves in the heaviness are quite grating, you know, they're quite a bit too high definition if you get me, like quite stretched out, overblown kind of feel, you know what I'm saying? But the interplay between them, the relationship between them, just how they're angled against each other is so, so sick. The bounce of it, just the rhythm, the flow, it just, it really works. And that contrast and juxtaposition between that, the, uh, the harshness of the sounds themselves, and the flow, the rhythm, the dynamic is just brilliant. I think it really works for it. Excited to hear it more and get into those ideas more, can't lie. Then we have Leo Tricks with the Emo Boy 303 side. <laughs> Is this him singing as well? Probably. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, musicality on point. That's getting me here, man. Chills, chills. Decent vocal, decent vocal as well. But what it is, that's uh, that's perfection. This to me feels like a drop he felt he had to do. Like a second drop switch up to kind of make it a bit different when I think a bit of consistency, a bit of repetition from one to the other could have worked. Yeah, the first drop just felt a bit more rounded and full and deep, you know, a bit more plumpness to it, if you get me. Nice little well-packaged cut, and I think, personally, for me anyway, uh, that would have to be one of my favourite tunes of his so far. He knows what it wants to do and delivers it in a pretty, uh, yeah, to the point way, you know, opening, build, drop, then a little interlude section, kind of like the intro, build, drop, quick outro, you know, yeah, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and I think that really works for it, and uh, yeah, not much else to say. I like the sounds here again, and the atmosphere here, uh, and the musicality as well, actually, the emotion. This one, I really felt an emotional pull from, and the chills were running, the chills were running down the old spine, so that was in thanks to the vocal, the musicality, and the musical progression of those notes, that kind of do 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 it was just a bit of a chef's kiss moment, you know, uh, really good. But yeah, another one I'm enjoying a decent amount. Moving on, we have Akios and i7 with Angel Portal. It says here the Akios version, but I'm pretty sure it's just an original, but yeah, if I'm wrong, do let me know in the comments down below. Oh, quick build. Another idea here you can quickly get into, like it didn't take me long to kind of work out what was going on and how to get into it, which is good. That's what I love. Oh, there's a doo 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 doo. Mm. Oh. Those kind of growls and belches are just exactly, exactly what I've been missing. Like they are good. This percussion getting me going. So sharp as well, like, can't get to this point without mentioning how refined and detailed that production is. Like, it just fucking smacks you, and it's so, so good for that. It's one to move along to, like, the patterns are there. But whether it's something, you know, I'm really, like, like, loving as an idea, it's not, like, inspiring me to be, like, you know, wow, like, incredible kind of thing. But it is nice, you know, just kind of moving along with it. It's just not statement-making, I would say. Main takeaway for me, though, still, is the production, like, fucking hell, hear that? The crispness of that, it's just so refined, sharp, detailed. It's just the punch of it, the body of it, the kind of depth of that sound. It's just, it's, it's fucking getting me, mate. Another relatively straightforward tune here when you think about ones like 
the Vulture cut, for example, which was just manic and completely off the chain and yeah, really, really just throwing everything at you. Whereas this one, a bit more controlled, a bit more compact and just really letting the production shine through, I think. You know, idea quite simple and yeah, just really allowing the quality of that design to ring true and have it say in this tune. I feel like this one is a bit of an onion, you know, like loads of layers that are yet to be uncovered that I can't wait to hear when I hear it again on speakers, but also on my headphones as well. Not blown away, but again, I can imagine really enjoying it way, way, way more over time. And that is in many ways the mark of a great song. Then we have conic sections or conic sections. I think conic because cones, but anyway, it's by Phonon and let's go. Okay, come on, bring it. Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh, okay. I love the force of that one, the aggression of it, the forthright delivery. The snare doesn't have maximum impact, but still the idea, really liking it, and the arrangement of sounds, fucking good. Neuro? Neuro? Come on! Oh! Mate, this song, so inventive, so flavoursome, so fucking... This is what has been hiding below, underneath, for so long. The arrangement here of sounds and just the angling and dynamic relationship, all of that really works. Like the attention to detail to get that desired effect and have them all bouncing off each other and like that flow and jinky, clinky, clanky style. That one has a lot going for it. The explosion of sound that we get following the melody and, uh, you know, kind of sweetness at the beginning. It's really good. And for me, the best thing I can say about it, which is a thought, at the front of my mind here is just that, yeah, this is what I miss about this genre, you know, playfulness, melody, and just an awareness of where everything is placed, not predictable, a lot of good going for it. You know, the odd off moment here and there, the intro didn't feel quite in line with everything else in a weird way that might change when I hear it again. And the initial snare we got, which we also get later on wasn't quite full or rounded enough, but still, you know, for the most part, yeah, a lot of good here and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And ultimately we have Colours by Crippling. Let's go. Oh! Ooh, that percussion. Colours. How did I predict that? Jeez. As you can tell by the extent to which I'm vibing to it, I'm, uh, this is fresh. Production smacks hard, the synths are colourful and sharp and shiny and refined. Simple, to the point, knows what it wants to do. So simple, so effective. Producers, if you are watching, please take note. Colors. The idea is a bit random, like a bit helter-skelter all over the place and whatnot, but I think, I think that works for it. Yeah, I mean, I've said everything I want to say on that one, just simple, to the point, and powerful, impactful, and rounded production, sharp, random, no doubt, and all over the place, but that is the appeal of it, and the power of the production as well, just really carrying it through, so... Is good. And finally here, we have Disgust by Basic. Okay, here we go. That's cruel. 
crawling under my skin. Oh man, again, the fucking dynamic relationship. When it comes to background touches, like, few people, few people are matching him, like, no joke. Oh man, that was good. I'm just so excited to hear these songs again and just like, enjoy them more and, you know, learn more about them with more listens and all of that, like... No, 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 slowing down, you fuck me up. Oh! 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 He loves a little switch up and that one, that one works. Again, it works, this kind of approach. Creative, inventive, off the wall, no, you know, nothing holding it back. This is music just bereft of inhibition, of things holding it back. It is simply nice to hear and I am very much here for it. Got to talk about the quality of that production as well, you know, basic. Always got the ideas but also the production to back it up and, you know, once again here, what turn, what direction is it going to go off in, you just never know with him and also that roundedness and fullness in the design to back it up and just make it that little bit more appealing and something that I want to hear again and again. You know, you have to meld those two. The opening of it, I must admit, at the very beginning was a bit, a bit odd and I wasn't sure quite what it was going for, melodically and sonically as well, all of that, but the way it picked up, and again, one of those where you just have to appreciate the dynamic between sounds, the relationship, just the way it's put together, assembled and executed is so good, and the different switch ups, and yeah, fucking hell. A good way, a good way to end a good comp. But overall here, I mean, yeah, very solid ideas and production here that I'm really enjoying and can see myself getting into more more and more as I listen again and again and I don't say that lightly you know you guys know what I'm like with my reviews and this stuff it does sound different it does just sound like they're going for something new and they're pushing boundaries and whatnot especially given the current climate and a couple here you know they're a bit more straightforward and not as out there with their ideas but then I think of the production I think of the way they're put together, the sounds on show. Even melodic moments here that are a bit odd, but which work that way. And yeah, it just, there's a real feel here to me of branching out, which just wouldn't be easy. So much easier to just do what everyone else is doing and fit in. But this actually feels futuristic. Do you know what I mean? The whole future rhythm thing. I do wish that we could have got more tunes here for sure. I still think that. But it's just the beginning with Halcyon. And I'm definitely looking forward to there being more styles tackled here over time. But to be honest, you know, anything really with this approach and ethos towards this music, I'm on board. So yeah, this compilation, loads, loads going for it. Probably to the extent that the bad stuff here, I'm not even that keen to kind of recognize in my closing thoughts here. Really, really solid comp. But there we have it, my initial thoughts and reaction to the debut compilation from Halcyon, Halcyon Sound Volume 1. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. What did you guys make of the compilation? Do you have a favourite or multiple favourites from the eight? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell along the way so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video to the channel and my social media accounts and the Discord server are linked below. And if you want to find some other live reviews on the channel, I will link them right here. But beyond that, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know. And I will see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.